Hello and welcome back to a short DevBlock series in which I will present to you new features of the upcoming DLC for Enderel, Forgotten Stories. Today I will talk about the first chapter, Magic. While there won't be any major changes to the Magic system, we wanted to improve some of the aspects players had pointed out to us, as well as adding some new spells which we thought the main game was lacking. First off, we added some miscellaneous spells, such as the new mentalism spell Soldrin's Touch, which transforms the contents of an ore vein directly into penny coins. The amount of coins gained depends on the value of the ore in that vein and the mentalism skill of the player. Another spell would be Spectral Chest. While traveling, you can summon and open a chest to store items in. Its carrying capacity depends, again, on your mentalism skill. More spells of this kind are planned, to make the less used magic schools more viable. Next up, Psionics. The school of Psionics has been completely revamped and now contains new damage spells, which are meant to be combined with other magic schools or fighting skills. Three spells are entirely new. Psychosis inflicts damage over time. After three successful hits with Psychosis, the enemy is weakened and has reduced damage resistance to all kinds of damage. The amount by which the enemy is weakened depends on your skill level in Psionics. Psionic Push has high mana costs and a rather long casting time, but inflicts good damage while pushing your enemies back. Depending on your Psionics skill, the push gets stronger. This is particularly useful for mages trying to keep their enemies at a distance. The last new spell would be Counter. It can be cast almost instantaneously and puts a curse on other magic users. The next time they then try casting a spell, the curse interrupts, damages and staggers them. There will also be more psionic spells to help you manipulate your enemies. Not only for combat. There is also a new type of very powerful magic. Mystical spells. Those are master spells, which can be found at unique locations or bought for a lot of coin at level 60. They can only be used with a high skill of the respective school and the master perks of the skill stones unlocked. They cost high amounts of mana, but their powers are unmatched. And thus ends this episode of the dev block. This time there will definitely be more to follow. Finally, I would like to remind you all of the SXSW Gaming Awards. Enderal was nominated in the category Fan Creation of the Year. And we would love to win this. This time we will actually be present at the show. In order to vote for us, just follow the link in the video description down below. Thanks a lot! Also. If you like the story of Enderel, you can now support Nicolas Samuel, our story writer, on Patreon. Links also in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next devblog about the Forgotten Stories DLC.